Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in Grade 5 we are working on Module 4 and Lesson 23. And tonight in Lesson 23 we are comparing the size of the product to the size of the factors. So very much similar work to what we've been doing over the last couple of nights, especially last night. Let's take a look at some of the problems from tonight's homework and see what we can do. Uh, let's take a look at problem number one. We're supposed to sort the following expressions by rewriting them in the table. Now we've got six of them down here and we're supposed to sort them into one of these two boxes. Either the product is less than the boxed number, or the product is greater than the boxed number. So I'm going to leave a lot of this work for you, but I want to take a look at, let's see, I'm going to take a look at this one over here. I'm just going to pick one of the more complicated ones. So let's see, the number we start off with is 321 and 46 hundredths, and then we are multiplying it by this number. So the question is, what happens to this number when we multiply it by this number? Does it get bigger or does it get smaller? And I think because this number is greater than one, this means that basically we have more than one copy of this number. If we had just one, let's just imagine for a second that we just struck out the 26 hundredths part of it. If we multiplied it by one, we'd say, well, it just stayed the same, right? But we took a little bit more than the one. So I think that tells us this number is gonna get bigger. The product is gonna be bigger than the box number. So I'm gonna rewrite 321.46 times 1.26 over here. The product is going to be greater than the boxed number. Now I'm going to leave the other five problems in 1A uh, for you, as well as the explanation in 1B about the expressions. Let's take a look at one more problem tonight. Problem 2 asks us to do the following. We're supposed to write a statement using one of the following phrases to compare the value of the expressions, then explain how you know. Let's see, our choices are going to be is slightly more than, is a lot more than, is slightly less than, or is a lot less than? Hmm. Well, I'm going to take a look, let's see, I'm going to take a look at 2C. Oop, 2C. What happens when I multiply 1,955 times, this is look, looks like, what, 19 thousandths? Which is going to be smaller or larger? Is this or this? What happens to 1,955 when I multiply by this number? Gosh, this number is a really small number. It's nowhere near one, right? It's a lot smaller than one. So I think that the product here is going to be a lot smaller than this, right? I think a lot smaller. So let me say is a lot smaller. A lot, oops, they say less than. A lot less than. And how do I know? Well, 0 0.019 is much smaller than 1, right? That's how I know, right? If it was close to 1, if it was a number like this number, 0 0.999, then I would say it's going to be smaller, but not much smaller. And if it was a number like this, it was going to be a lot larger, because this means that this number is going to more than double, right? More than two times bigger. But I think this is going to be a lot smaller than the original number. Awesome. Let's look at one more problem on his homework. Problem number three. Oh, this is a story problem, so we're going to use our read, draw, and write strategy. I know first up is reading. Rachel is 1.5, or 1 in 5 tenths times as heavy as her cousin Kayla. Another cousin, Jonathan, weighs 1.25 times as much as Kayla. List the cousins from lightest to heaviest and explain your thinking. Well, you know what? Um, in cases like this where we're looking at the relative, something that's relative, like the relative weights of people, um, I'd like to use tape diagrams. So I'm going to say Rachel... Kayla and Jonathan are going to be our three people here, R, K, and J. Let's see. Rachel is 1.5 times as heavy as her cousin Kayla. Okay, so if Kayla's weight was this, right, then Rachel's weight would be one and a half, 1.5 times. So it'd be like about this big, right? It can't be all the way out to here. It can't be two times as big, right? But it's much bigger than one times as big. So this is about one and a half times. So Rachel's is about one and a half times as big as Kayla. Now let's look at Jonathan. Jonathan weighs 1.25 times as much as Kayla. Okay, so let's see. So Jonathan starts off here, 1.25 times. Well, so it's more than Kayla, but it's not 1.5 times, it's 1.25 times. So I think it's gonna have to be like out here, right? That looks like about 1.25 times as big as Kayla. Awesome. So now we've done our draw part. We're really ready for our write part. Let's see. We're supposed to list them from lightest to heaviest. So I think it looks like Kayla. Kayla is lightest. Right? 
followed by Jonathan, I'm going to say John, and then Rachel. And I, how would we say that? We would say that Rachel's, I'm going to say this, I'm going to say Rachel's, ooh, I'm going to use a scaling factor. I'm going to use our math vocabulary. Rachel's scaling factor is larger than Jonathan's. That's how we know, right? Because we multiplied Kayla's weight times 1.5 to get to the Rachel, but only times 1.25 to get to Jonathan. Awesome. Well, that's all we've got for tonight's homework. I wish you the best of luck as you complete yours. Hopefully you'll tune in the next time for another episode of Mr. Conghan's Problems. Take care.